Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Tamika Joy Show with the stars. How y'all doing today? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Take a bow, take a bow. You made it. It's Friday. It is Friday. You did it. Thank y'all so much. As y'all come on in, I'm going to check my phone and see what's going on because I can't see y'all, see who's on the line. So I want to make sure I can see y'all so I can interact with y'all so we can enjoy each other, you know, because it's Friday. Some of y'all just got paid. Some of y'all, you know, waiting along, but you will still, this is your season. So you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Just be patient. Don't worry about a thing. God got you. He got you. I know he got you. You just got to believe it. You got to trust it. So here we go. Stars. Stars represents shining through adversity, reaching success. That's what stars mean because everyone is a star. Everyone has to go to, through some type of success, some type of adversity in order to get to a successful story. So that's where we come in to be able to be the vessel, be able to be the pro the platform, the profile, whatever it is that we 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 you name it, we got you. We want to be able to help you. So if you are an artist, if you are a dreamer, if you are an actor, a model, a, a dancer, whatever it is that you want to do, everything anything that you want it to be, and life got in the way, we want to give you a platform. So make sure you hit us up, contact us, come on the show, enjoy us for a little bit. Let us hear your story. Let us hear some of the things that you um, had to deal with along the way, but always wanted to do your thing. Um, that's what we do. We want to be able to look out for you. So um, do we have any Tauruses in the building? Any Tauruses in the building? I'm trying to see any Tauruses in the building. Let me hear from you. If we don't have any Tauruses in the building, we have any anniversaries. I want to be able to congratulate you. I want to be able to say hello to you. I want to be able to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And for those that are going through another anniversary, let me say, I'm coming up on my 11th year, and I know it ain't easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it, and your loved one um, is there for you, riding for you, and it's all about communication. It's all about being honest with one another. It's all about being transparent. It's all about being forgiven. It's all about being loving. Man, it's some work. But it's definitely worth it. So happy anniversary to those with special unions on the month of May. Um, if this is your month, man, live it up. Because it's too much going on in this world right now to not to be loving on one another. I know this pandemic broke a lot of families up, man. So for the strong ones, man, I salute y'all. Keep up the great work. Keep loving on each other. Keep making it fun. Keep dating. You know, just make it fun. Just, you know, slap him in the back of his head <laughs> and tell him, man, I love you, man. Just slap her on her little, you know, behind and be like, oh, you look cute today. Like, I mean, y'all got to make it spicy. Y'all got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to make a little spicy show. You can keep it, keep it going, you know, so. <laughs> but yeah, man, we going to have a great show today. Of course, uh, we have uh the one and only a lot of people uh don't know who this brother is but um let me tell you he is definitely someone to um make sure you keep on your radar he's been in it for a long time and took a has been taking a little break you know raising his family because that's what we do you know for those this is what this platform is all about giving those with a with a platform that uh, life got in the way and they made choices to make sure that they their family was okay. So this brother Darian Turner um, He's he's the man man. I, I, I love his spirit. I love his soul 
And I, I, I thank him so much for just keep going um, from the DMV area. So give it up for Darian. Uh, Lady Queen Pen is in the building tonight. Yes. Y'all may not know her. Um, with some that do know her, you know, she's she's definitely a uh, force to be reckoned. Uh, choreographer, she's an educator. She does her thing. She was on MTV, dance, uh, American Dance Hall then. I, I, Sean, Dr. Shawnee, I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, uh, health and, uh, well, yeah, mental health. Yeah, because it's still month. So we represent mental health all, all week, all month long. We, we represent mental health. I represent mental health every day, 365, because I got to deal with it. We all got to deal with it, but we all just need to come to one and let every and let everyone know that it's just okay. It's okay to have some type of mental disorder. We all have it. We all have it. If we when we start claiming it and understanding it, then we can really realize and tap into what it really does, how it really reacts, how it maneuvers how it triggers and we can understand the process of dealing with that. But shout out to uh, Dr. Shawnee Gray. We're going to have a great, great show today. However, let me drop this on y'all real quick because um, sister girl, you know, I, I'm excited. I got people calling me, let me know the great things that's going on. So of course, um, Kazar uh, Entertainment, uh, they are doing a thing. I was in a, a movie called um, Zeke the Awakening, and uh, we got a lot of awards, man. So shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, Zeke the Awakening. Woo-wee, yes. And um, another thing, for the youth, we have um, Make Go Go Forever. Make Go Go Forever. We did a nice it was really really nice um interview on tuesday we were able to release the video or trailer uh ron moton and anwan glover big g glover uh, uh, they are the co-executives for the production and and your girl is the associate uh producer for the uh the uh, actual video or series that's coming to play and uh, we just basically giving the youth a platform, man, to do their thing, to um, to just shine because it's all about the youth. After we gone, we got to be able to pass the torch. So um, let's I'm gonna show the video to you guys so y'all can see uh, what's getting ready to come through. And uh, we we stay tuned for the next the next uh, audition. So y'all check out this video of the trailer for Make Go Go Forever. something that we created. It's a sound that comes exactly where I'm from. So I feel like it's really important. Well, if it's just being named at the official music of Washington, D.C., we have to keep our music alive because we have so much history in our music. We have to absolutely invest in the youth, invest in the future. Because the other part of the world really need to see our city. We have so much talent here. I look super energetic. We're making history today, so I hope y'all ready. Seeing you further in the competition, I just want to see a little more charisma from you, but your voice is on point. Impeccable. 
My mother used to sing um, lead singer for Junkyard, and my stepfather plays keys for Pure Elegance. So um, I can't get out of it. It's in my blood. You sound great. Thank you. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, where y'all from? You giving everybody a run for their money. Trust me. Oh, Lexi, thank you so much for all that. I, I really appreciate it. So what you think, Lexi? I just feel like you're not what we looking for. You, you need to get some vocal training because you were very pitchy. I feel like you the one to beat. You put that in the pocket. You hear me? When that pocket hit, ah, that's the freedom right there. I can feel that like a Holy Ghost. We gonna work these artists out. Oh yeah. I can't wait to see. Grand Rising. Yes, let's go. Come on, come on. Turn. Who won it? There's a fire starting in my heart. Like we have brought the, the music back, right? But we're now, with we Make Go Go Forever, getting it right, right back to the younger generation and let them take charge and have a platform to keep our music going. And we coming, and we coming to seize the moment. This is Go Go. So tell me what y'all think. Tell me what you think. What y'all think about that? Uh, like I said, the auditions are coming June 2021. What well, you know, we here. We ready and we are here. I'm trying to figure out. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm saying that um trying to make sure that I'm I'm actually here and can see you guys. Dr. Shawnee is having a little issue with her her connection, you guys, so I apologize. But Dr. Shawnee and I was going to talk a little bit about uh, mental health and, and self-care. And so if she's not able to get on, I'm going to roll along and keep it going because that's what we got to do. We got to keep it going, keep it going. So... Um, self-care, if you guys don't know anything about self-care, please, please, please know that it's important to make sure that you have that. Like, ladies, I can't stress to you guys enough. I know, you know, it was just, it was just Mother's Day and we have so many titles we have so many things on our plate and right now it's definitely out of control when we can't find a balance we can't find time we can't keep up you gotta give yourself a minute just 10 minutes 10 minutes let it start to add on to 20 minutes 30 minutes to an hour. I mean, give it a day. Yeah, start your faith. Um, not, not Just start believing in yourself. Start giving yourself that moment to be able to just have your, your sanity. Like when you get on a plane, when they say over the monitors, you have to put on your safety, you know, situation first save you like you can't help nobody if you don't have nothing to give so it is important for us to take a moment and it's not selfish it's not something that you know you should feel bad about like you have to take a moment to say you know what i'm locking everybody out i, I need 10 minutes you know and just take that moment Get you, go on YouTube. There's plenty of books, plenty of ebooks, plenty of different things, ways that you could take a moment um, to, you know, you could do some yoga. You could just do some meditation. You could just listen to some music. You can write down some thoughts, some goals. Like you have to do that for yourself. And men, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not counting y'all out because I know it's a, it's even more on y'all. However, we we know. 
and we say that it's a lot on us i know it's even crazier stuff um you know for you guys it's another level that I, I of course won't be able to explain and never will be able to explain because i'm not a male but i know it's a lot on y'all man but y'all gotta find a way to try to be more transparent with y'all self-care. Y'all self-care comes with the transparency of being confident enough to let down some walls, to express yourself, to be vulnerable, to let us in, to let us know what's going on, what you're dealing with, so we can be that backbone. You see, y'all want to pick up the pieces and want to do this and you rah, 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 and I get it. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you've been mentally you know, connected with in regards to your subconscious and your upbringing. But at the end of the day, you're still a human being, man. It, you're still going through. You still are a person. And it's only but so much you can take. So be a little bit more transparent. Open up a little bit with the women. Let us know how you really feel so that we could be able to connect. That's the self-care that you guys, I feel you need um, in order to get over the hump, in order to get to the next level. Um, those are some of the things that you need to do as a person as far as self-care. Um, Dr. Shani Gray, I don't know if she's on yet or not, but um, if she is, bring her in. If not, we're going to keep rolling. There she is. Hi. Hey, my girl. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I you was just well. How are you? I'm man. I'm here. God You're is looking good. like you have taken so much good self care for yourself. Mm, I have to. I got too much on my plate, man. And a lot of people be like, "Why? How? Like, I get tired. I get this a lot. I get tired of watching you do so much. But you're such an yeah. inspiration." But how do you do it? And I'm just like, and you got to take care of yourself. And when you can't and you feel like it's too much, you got to reel it back. You be like, reel it in. You be like, bow, 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 like, like Martin B. Bow, 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 bow. bow. Like, 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 give me my piece. Give me my, no, wait, wait. So, Dr. Shawnee, tell the people um, what, 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 what is some things that, um, you would recommend in regards to self-care or you we can start off with what does self-care look like to you okay so first things first i have to wholeheartedly agree with sister sinistra is it sinestra i don't want to sinestra sinestra was the sister that we had our event at Absolutely. at the office mm -hmm. um, but i have to wholeheartedly agree with her when she she said put god first because he will be the foundation. He will that will be where your strength come from. Um, the will or your know-how. So that's the very first thing we have to incorporate in our daily lives. It is impossible to move forward and to, to be anything or anyone without him, honestly speaking. So in order for us to have that Wusa moment, um, you know, we have to, you know, of course, biblical speaking, keep our mind stayed on him. Um, but after that, we definitely have to find time. You know, if you think about it and uh, let's just take a dollar for a second, just use an example. One dollar is our whole day. You know, we what percent do we give to anything? We give eight whole hours to work. Right. And then we so let's just say that's about 50 cents. So we have 50 cent left after that. Typical day. So after 50 cents is gone, we have 50 cents left. Then we have to prepare, you know, um, things for our children or our household. We have to take care of that. That's about another 30 percent. So now we're looking at 20 cents left to our one dollar. And then, you know, where do we find time for ourselves? Not to mention we have to give God his time. When do we give him that and how much of our day do we give him? Um, and then what's left is probably pennies on the dollar. After we've taken care of the cares of everyone, we only have pennies to take care of ourselves. And those pennies are very important because you don't want to go into the negative, meaning not taking care of yourself, you know, putting other things and other people in front of you. So it's very important that you set time aside 
um, for yourself, even if it's the beginning of your day, no matter when that is. Because for me, for an example, I have to get up at 430 every morning and that's when I can have time for myself, because if I don't, I will get no time. My household is jumping 20 going north. You know, I have meetings <laughs> after meetings, jobs, of course. You know, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm beating on my business. So if I'm not setting that time aside for myself, then I will never find it. So 4.30 in the morning is where I can find mine. But it is very important, like you said, to, to tap into that, whether it's, you know, doing something to beautify yourself. And this is men and women. A basic facial, um, just painting your nails. You don't have to necessarily go to a salon, but just sitting aside time to make sure that you're together. Um, some people are into arts and crafts or painting even, you know, um, so just, just making certain that we tap into some of the things that we really like to do. Some people like to collect some of their scents, you know, and then spin it all in one cluster at the end of the week. And that's fine too, but we have to tap in, burn a candle, um, sing a song, something, whatever makes us come, whatever centers us. And that's what's important to find our sense center. That's right. I, I agree wholeheartedly with all of that we definitely have to just figure out what it is that moves us whatever that gives us that zen you know uh we got to embrace that we got to take that moment we got to you know stop some of the things that we used to do that we thought was peace of mind and tap into some new things to get new um you know spirits to get new movement to get new uh, results in regards Absolutely. to where we want to go you know so we have to you know do some things in regards to that's new to be able to get new so a lot of us want to get new results or want something new but we still do the same thing and think that that is the correct. news going to come and it's not going to come because you're still doing the same thing so in order to get different results you got to do different thing so you got to tap in and not be afraid of the new you know because that's the thing although we're conscious our subconscious moves more than our conscious believe it or not and so we typically try to do things that we're comfortable with things that we are familiar in want and and it's a reminder we don't need to be reminded it's just you're actually doing it subconsciously you got to tap into different things that's not a subconscious be conscious with the conscious if that makes sense i definitely yes, agree absolutely you have to get out of your comfort zone you are absolutely right mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely i definitely agree so is what what do you do when things get a little crazy on a typical typical day i yell <laughs> Hey, that's Let it. it out. Let it out. Let it out. Um, but no, um, a great stress relief for, for me is, you know, um, I'm very artsy crafty. You know, I've gotten to resin, making tumblers, just doing all types of stuff, painting. I um, converted my bedroom into a workshop. You know, converting my, my bedroom in itself was um, a task and it was a, a, a stress reliever because Every time I pull, I have to, I want to go in and do something. I have to pull it all the way out. And I'm sitting here like, no one's going to see my bedroom anyway. Why not? Anyway, why not make it, you know, my workshop where I don't have to do that. So even going into building shelves to make me comfortable. So now at the end of the day, when I come in, I just do a little bit and I do it a little bit. And then by the end of the week, I created a masterpiece, if you will. Um, but, you know, the joy of being able to do that. And when I turned my bedroom into my workshop, you know, I don't have to, you know, pull things in and pull things out beforehand. I didn't feel like doing anything because it wasn't relatively available. So just making the things that make you happy relatively available is um, a, a great way to get started. So if you're the type of person, you know, um, fashion design, you know, just having your sewing machine relatively available to stitch a couple of stitches a day. By the end of the month, you have a whole new outfit, you know, and you can enjoy it and you're working right. on the next one. So you're you, it's just whatever you want for yourself, whatever that thing is, because we're all different. 
Mm -hmm. um, just making certain that we tap into it. So that's what that's one of the things that that was the best thing that I could have ever done for myself was turn or created my bedroom into my workshop. I didn't want to she shed. I didn't want to have to go all the way out back or, you know, or right. um, sit out on a patio. I wanted to be in my element, you right. know, with my door closed. I call it my apartment. <laughs> um, because I have everything I need in there, you That's know, beautiful. But, you know, but just you know, just to lock myself in and just mm -hmm. just be free to be me. That's right. That's right. That's what it's all about. I love it. I love it. I love it. So for those that mm, trying to find the balance, trying to find the time, because they still haven't really got the balance of time of day to day, what would you say to them in regards to how they possibly can start with giving their their, their self a, a moment? Just like you schedule meetings or you have locked in in your mind or have the mindset that I have to work from this time to this time, you should also set aside time, even if it's two minutes. For two minutes, I'm going to meditate or for 30 minutes, I'm going to read or for an hour, I'm going to sit in this corner and face the wall. Whatever that is, you have to schedule it. We are, we are addicted to, we are addicted to um, what we feel makes us happy or whatever we decide to give our attention to. So if we want to give our attention to ourselves, then we will do that. So the, the first step is to schedule yourself an appointment with yourself <laughs> that's right you know so like i said for myself because i'm the type of person that i i have you know as soon as i hit, as soon as my feet hit the floor i'm running 40 going north because mm -hmm. i was that person i'm always ripping and running someone will call impromptu and then i have to do something else or you know it, it's always something added to the end of my day and by the time i get home i'm exhausted I decided that in order for me to have some me time, I had to get up a little earlier. So That's it's right. just happening to what you your norm now and mm -hmm. figuring out how you can fit you into your own schedule. That's it. I love it. Yes, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have to get up a little early. Like if the kids get up at, you know, whatever time, you got to sacrifice. That's Sacrifice right. for yourself because you sacrifice so much for other people you Absolutely. sacrifice for your kids mm -hmm. your, uh, your spouse or your other your loved ones your family members your friends sacrifice for you wake up a little bit time a little bit early you know what i mean just to give you a moment it, and I'm know that you're you, worth it you're worth, you're worth all that I'm worth all of that like i'm i'm up like yeah they sleep you know what I'm saying i get my little moment <laughs> don't mess with me Hey, Lakeisha. Lakeisha says self care is for me. Is disturbing myself out of the right, out of the right. That's right. You know, it, it's seven of us in my household. Me giving to my husband and kids. I receive their positive energy back through love Amen. and appreciation. Amen. That's right. Absolutely. That's my family over there in LA. Hey, ah! LA family. <laughs> That's my family. And Lakeisha. Yes, Lakeisha just had another one. Yes, had another what? one. Yeah, new edition Ooh, alert. You catch it up with me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love y'all so much, man. Congratulations to you both. Y'all know I love you from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom, from the bottom to the top, man. Shawnee Gray, where can the people reach? Um, reach y'all at. Uh, reach you at Dr. Shawnee. Um, so they can kind of, they want to kind of just talk or if they want to just hear a little message or whatever it is that they want to do, where can the people find you at? Absolutely. They can definitely shoot me an email. I have a 24 hour turnaround time, so it could be immediate, but it's not going to surpass 24 hours. And that's Shawnee Gray Co. S-H-A-N-I-G-R-A-Y-C-O as in company at gmail.com. There y'all got it. Dr. Shawnee Gray, I appreciate you, sister. You know you, my sister. I hey, love you, love you, love you. Forever. I love you. <laughs> beyond forever. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. It's been my pleasure. All right. Self care is vital to our well being. Yes, Lisa. Absolutely, it is. And we represent in May the month of mental health awareness. Uh, let's show the video. Uh, well, actually, the the flyer 
of our next week event. Woohoo! Next week is going down. We are representing Mental Health Week and month. Um, excuse me, while we actually next week will be at um, the 9701 Apollo Drive in Upper Marlboro. We'll be actually having a chalk and art, chalk and art where the kids, anybody, actually any kid, any adult can actually uh, get on the concrete, express yourself, man, write whatever you want to write, draw whatever you want to draw. It's all about that, just putting it down, and then we just going to let it sit there, take pictures of it. Channel 9 will be in the building representing, taking cover of the story, light refreshments, love over energy, and stars performing arts. We coming together to unite to make this a net, a lovely, 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 wonderful event for the community. So y'all make sure that y'all, um, make sure y'all come on over. It's from uh, two to four uh, on next Saturday at 9701 Apollo Drive, Upper Marlboro. Uh, make sure y'all get there. Come on out. Light refreshments, 9701 Apollo Drive, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, 20744. The rain date will be that Sunday if we don't make it out um, on that Saturday. Same place, same time. It's called Express Yourself with Chalk Art. So we're going to bring our next guest up. she be locking it up and then. Doing all that, yeah. My sister, girl, Queen T, man. I'm gonna let y'all. Sh um, I'm gonna share this video real quick of her when she was on America's Dance. What is it called? America's Dance Off. It's been so long, I can't think of the tag on uh, the show, but it was on MTV and it did its thing. And she represented the DMV, DC, the culture, the go go. She represented. She's still representing. So we have the video of uh, Queen P and the Beach of Feet Kings doing their thing on MTV. America's Dance Off. <clears throat> yeah, that. Let's show that. <laughs> Beat your feet, Kings. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my girl. That's my girl. <clears throat> y'all see her. Y'all see her. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Because I don't want them to be trying to shut us down. Trying to shut us down. Y'all make sure BYB cover me, man. Cover me. This, you know, we make sure we get that plug. Well, y'all get the plug, but we all own the rights. But uh, let us let us get that moment, please. Please look out for us to let us get that moment, BYV, as you represented the DMV, D.C. backyard in the building. The back, beach your feet, Kings with the Queen. Queen P, where you at, sister? What's happening? Hey! <laughs> What's going on? Hey, nothing ain't nothing. Just Hi. glad to be here and alive, you know what I'm saying? The land hey. of the living. That's right. Amen. Amen to that. That's that's all that matters. That's all that counts. That's all we gotta do. That's if we if that's one moment, well, we you let them do the rest. You know, we just push through. So yeah, good to see you. I so do. good to see you. So I got so many questions. I got so many questions because I'm like, Boy. <laughs> you're around all the men. Doing your thing, beating your feet. Like, uh -huh. tell me a little bit about that. Take me back down memory lane at the American Dance Crew. 
America's Best Dance Crew, that happened in 2009. And uh, it was, a, it was a, a great experience. Um, I don't believe that was my first time being in LA. I don't think that was my first time being in LA. But I know it was the guys' first time. And they were just like so amazed with like the energy there and the studios and all of that type of stuff. It was my first time being on television. Um, they have been on television before with uh, with Apollo, uh, but just being the only female, you know, it came with some responsibility, and uh, I'm just glad to be a part of the the, the legacy of, of the group um, in that capacity. But it definitely was work. We had to audition uh, in New York, like three months or maybe like two months before we got the call about us actually making the show. And um, we didn't know what was going to happen, to be honest, but we know that they really enjoyed our audition. And uh, we just, you know, kept the faith. I know that, you know, honestly, nobody really thought about going on the show. I think I kind of brought it up to the group. Not really kind of, but I did, you know what I'm saying? Like telling them, I think we should go. They was like, nah, we don't do hip hop. We don't know how to do this and the third. I'm like, we'll be fine. We just got to train. You know what I'm saying? So even though I danced for so long, I took on the challenge, I guess, in the sense of training them in a different style to merge with the Beach of Feet because that's what I'm known for is being a dancer, know how to beat my feet, and then just giving you the opportunity to be able to do both at the same time. So that's kind of like my place in space as it relates to Beach Your Feet worldwide and this globally. But as it relates to the King specifically, I didn't come to the group to be like the boss or to tell people what to do or any of that. I came to be a part of what they had already established. And it just so happened that my gift, my other gifts and talents just made room for me. So that's yes. it. Yeah. Yes, sister. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Be that light. Be that yeah, light. For sure. That's what, that's what you did. You were that light. And um, so, when it comes to you dancing, like when did when did this all come to? When did you start dancing? I started dancing when I was about three. Mm. I was younger than that. I think my family would probably agree. Probably like two. Wow! Wow! And uh, I trained, but you know, ballet. I mean, all the disciplines at this, I mean, ballet, jazz, tap, modern, African. If it was dance, I, I took it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Beach Your Feet, I started with the Beach Your Feet part of my dance career um, in 1997, 98. Okay. Okay. So I've been doing that style in particular for quite some time. So Ooh. since it literally started that's how long i've been doing it okay yeah, okay so I've been, i was a dancer before this style came out so right. it's like my duty as a dancer to learn what culturally belong to the city you know what i mean so sometimes i get kind of you know us as a movement and being in the area and understanding that there's so many creatives and so many people that do multiple things it's like if you don't know how to do your cultures thing, it's kind of a slap in the face. You know what I'm saying? When you go to other right. places. But right. we're creating this atmosphere whereby people are becoming a little bit more knowledgeable of the style and understanding the connection that it has to Go-Go and understanding the connection it has to DC. So, so sometimes what, what is about to happen because there is such an increase of knowledge for the style is if you're from D.C. and you dance, it's almost going to be like you. You from D.C., you know how to beat your feet. It's going to be kind of that exchange, which is what we want, because then that will encourage people to really, you know, tap into what we have to offer as a culture. So making Go Go Forever, like even that initiative is like a beautiful initiative for the youth and the young young people in the game coming up, because we have to find a way to preserve the culture, but not just the culture of Go-Go, but the, the official, I'm just going to say it, it's the official dance in D.C. We just let that, I'm just 
put that out there in the atmosphere. That's right. So there's no confusion that Beach Your Feet is the official heads of, 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 of the culture. Like, that's just what it is. And at some point, we'll be able to, you know, get our just do and flowers and all of those things as it relates to what we do bring to the community as it relates to the culture and the dance, you know, and how that all plays a part. That's right. That's right. Because, I mean, you guys have been on MTV. You've been to the Apollo. Um, you did the um, the Universal Soul Circus. Am yeah. I correct? Yep. Yeah. Um, and uh, 106 and Park, too. You guys have did as well, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and of course, the culture. You know, you guys have Rare Essence. I know I've seen y'all performing yeah. with Rare Essence. What are some other go-go bands that you guys have performed with? I think we probably perform with the majority. I mean, back y'all, I danced with me and Jose and another friend of mine. Um, I think maybe B sometimes and Cindy. We were the, I wouldn't say the house dancers for Rare Essence, but they brought me on and I would kind of just, you know, distribute the the, the talent as it as needed for that band. Um but I mean anywhere from backyard band, TCB, um reaction, um definitely work with Black Alley, which was such a great opportunity. I think that's why we came to the show. We we did some um some gigs with Black Alley in like Rhode Island. It was like super super dope. Um, so yeah, we, we've done a lot with the Google band. The way that it's been explained is like, we're the lost, we, Beat Your Feet is the lost child of, of Gogo. Like, yeah. we, we, the Gogo, yeah. uh, whatever that thing that came on TV one, um, the, the, beat, don't stop, the beat don't stop, right? Uh-huh. And, I was cracking up laughing because I was, I mean, I'm a music person, so I'm going to watch it's go go. I'm gonna watch this, and so I, I honestly was shocked that we even got like beat your feet was acknowledged, just even period. But how much it was acknowledged was so funny. It was like a real quick if you if 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 you didn't sit there and watch the whole thing and just talk to you would have missed it. And that, that's <laughs> what, no, I said, oh yeah, no, we the story must be told. Like there's so right. many. You know what I mean? There's well, so much, and we carry the music. We carry the music to places whereby you probably the band doesn't have access to because what the the the, the conversation is is dance. Like mm -hmm. that's a that's that's a language that's that's recognized all over. No mm -hmm. matter what the the language barrier is, dance is 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 it's like dance. It's uh -huh. dance. Right? right, so you think about that. Our job and what we're doing is taking the dance and starting the conversation, and then when they see what we're dancing, like hear what we're dancing to, they automatically fall in love with it because the conversation was dance. Right. So, oh, that's the music that goes. With? Okay, we cool. Like we're cool. <laughs> with that is with that. You see? Right. What I'm uh huh. So there, there has to be. We can't be on some shoe shoe fly don't bother me type energy. Right. But That's with it. the go go community and us, it has to be a oneness because it's the importance of the culture as a collective, right? That's right. So, That's right. So so we're we're I think we're starting to get we are. Yeah. Get to where we're understanding mm -hmm. that it's a it's a collective, you know right. what I mean? Not just one sided and so that's what I'm excited about in terms of for a movement. We could talk about the past, mm -hmm. talk about who did what, who didn't do what, but at the end of the day, right. it's, where, it's where we're headed. That's it. That's yeah. right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Where could the people find you at, uh, sister? If they want to get in touch with you, you know, Listen, check up or check up on you. Oh my God, don't call. I just <laughs> no. You definitely can follow me at at Queen P the Grand. Don't forget the brand. That's important. Queen P the brand. There are a lot of Queen P's, but there is only one Queen P the brand. So that's mostly on all of my social media. Also, let me plug in Beach Your Feet, uh, 
Academy has a page um, on Instagram. It's at BYF underscore Academy. That's B Y F underscore Academy. And we are uh, we have our adult classes available for registration. We have our youth classes for June available for registration. So definitely tap in. Check us out. Go keep the movement alive. Make go go forever. Don't be DC. Beat your feet all day. You need to go. That is, there it is. Yes, sir, yeah. sister. I appreciate you so much. Appreciate you, know, you for having me. All love. Absolutely. Definitely get you back on here, man. Keep doing what you're doing. You know you a star. I love you forever. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Y'all give it up for Queen C. Yes, that's the queen of Beat Your Feet. We're going to take a little break real quick. I'm just going to say, this is my break. Sponsored this week, Crown Royal Barbershop. My little young man, Marco. Y'all make sure y'all go see him. He's in the um, Plaza, Swan Creek Road in Fort Washington with a Safeway and the Mash and all that other. Crown Royal is right next to the Safeway. Y'all make sure y'all go see this young brother. He's talented. He's gifted. He can cut. And he can act. He's, he got some acting stuff coming up. Ain't that right? Easy. Yes, sir. Marco, y'all go see him. Shout out to you, Marco. Keep doing your thing, young man. Keep shining. Keep striving. Doing your best. I got your back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring up our last special guest. My friend. My brother. This young man, the last time I actually, well, I've seen him before that. Of course, I got him some sea moss, but the last time we really been was together was when uh, we was at Tacoma Station together performing. Um, he didn't do any music for a long time. He took a break. He came back. I met him through a, a good, another mutual friend, our friend Demi Dop, and um, he's just been my brother ever since. I, I was like, yo, you're not going to let all this talent. No, sir, you're not going to let all this talent just go to waste. You're going to get your butt up on the microphone again. And so he just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And uh, I just appreciate him. His heart is genuine. He has the biggest heart, greatest love, and a great voice, man. Y'all give it up for my brother, Darian Turner. My sister, what's up? What's up to me? What's up? What's up, bro? What's ain't going nothing. on? I ain't nothing. Just doing the Murray thing, you know. The family, <laughs> the kids, you know. Man, I know. I get it. You know. I, you know. I know all about that story. Yeah. I know yeah. everything yeah. about that story. I can write a book about it. I can write a song about it. Yeah, I, I got a lot of stuff to tell about. You know, talking about. You know. So let me hear it. Let, let's hear us a little. I want to hear a little bit. Tell me a little bit. Like so. Okay, you did. You were singing. You started off. Where did it come from? Well, when actually, did it come? Actually, it's in the family. Which my mother passed uh, two months ago of uh, cancer. You know, yeah. um, she used to sing. You know, uh, mm -hmm. in the family, we married to uh, in the family. Stacy Lasso, my family. You know, Jerry Lasso, yeah. my, my nephew Keith, Angelo, all of them performed. So, hey, Kay. Uh, we got family, uh, Van McCoy do the hustle. Long story with that, but um, I've always been a dreamer. I always had a, a vision of always uh, I, I talk stuff to the universe, right? I used to always speak stuff to the universe. So um I always had a gift, you know, and uh, performing at high school with different bands. I mean, with different, like, Intimate Groove, High Profit. Um, I used to do a little promote a promotion. Uh, I ended up doing a promotion with like I used to be with Dougie Fresh. Uh, I did some stuff with Luke Campbell with H Town. I helped him with H Town to get that song knocking uh that knocking loose. It mostly make you cry sometimes. That was number one. I helped with that. I've been around. I, I always always wanted to sing, but I was always kind of shy, you know. So I once I learned the business, it was more like. Do I really want this? You know what I'm saying? Do I really mm -hmm. want it? And I want to yeah. give a shout out to my homies, uh, Bugs. Uh, we was in a chorus together, my man Gene Pratt, um, Huggy. <laughs> but they stuck, they stuck to their craft, you know. And I was always all over the place, you know. And I was all over the place. So 
Um, you know, so that was basically a lot of stuff I've been through with the music, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy, especially when you've made it past a, a certain threshold that kind of just different dif differentiates you from, or if that's a word, but <laughs> that, that puts you in a different position than just being a singer. An artist is different from a singer. Those mm -hmm. that don't know that, get that in your shundo. Like, mm -hmm. an artist is different from a singer. That's why I put artists. Right mm -hmm. now, you, you know, we can consider you as a singer, but Darian Turner was an artist at one point. So I won't give you your flowers while you're here. You know, although you're not doing it, you're still an artist and will be an artist to me because you deserve it. You know, so <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, the, the, fam it. the family man, the family man. <laughs> He's all about the family man. I tell you, that's how I be. He got to give himself some self care. Be like, boom, this door is locked. And uh, no. There you go. Lock that door. Give you that self care, brother. Be like, you know what? This me right here. Let me get this. Let me get that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. so I'm, 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 yeah. So definitely, um, I would say in regards to you know all the things that you have done, the people you have met. Um, yeah. You know, I'm jealous because you met Natalie. Co uh, um, hey, yeah, no. Natalie Cole, and I didn't even get to meet her, and I, she's hey, gone. She was so down to earth. We, I, Man. I, I, ain't dinner with her. I ain't dinner with her. I was right there chilling. She talked. She told me a lot about the music industry, so I had a more insight uh, of the music industry, and, and and I really didn't. I won't sell my soul for nobody. So right. The thing is, you know, uh, meeting the people, learning the business. You know, I was more like. I, I, when I started meeting all the people, I kind of, kind of got, you know, I really wasn't tripping off of it because when you get mm -hmm. older and you get wiser, you just mm -hmm. focus on, uh, you know, just this, 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 your your life with your family. You know, mm -hmm. that, that's another thing. You gotta, you can't. It's even married. It's even your family. Your, your family gotta have, to be, have gotta have your back on what you do. Come and, on and, with and, it. And we all can be selfish. Yeah. Selfish, you know. We all yeah. can be self. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that, um, you know, I don't have my moments of stuff, but I never was a selfish, I never was a selfish guy. So, and that's another thing when you're doing the music industry, uh, being around these musicians and different artists, when sometimes they, you think they, your best interest, but they really not, you know, mm -hmm. they really will hate on you. They will hate on you um, and tell you all kind of stuff, you know, and we, us men, we get pimped in the music industry too. We got the women out here trying to pimp us, you know. You know, they, they try to pimp us. I, 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 long story with that, you know. Uh, you know, I met some R. Kelly's out there, R. Kelly women, you know. But yeah, but it's real. Uh, it's absolutely real. I know a few stories wow. that will blow your mind, wow. and uh, yeah. So I but, definitely you know. know. Yeah, but, they don't don't shut us out. We, there's some some women that take advantage of men that have taken advantage of young boys yeah. as well. Yeah, we they we not the only ones that get you know slipped the Mickey. So yeah, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, I ain't gonna you know, I ain't say no names, but you know. Um, <laughs> but any, anyway, but what 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 the what the music industry? All I can say is the, the people is in it. You know, you got to learn the business. It, it's it, you can make plenty of money. It's all about making that hit, and that's yeah. that's the only thing I was kind of working on. But the trying to make it to do, to get somebody to do what you want, is impossible sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can be that one song. Uh, they you tell them to do this, and they they they, they would switch it up. Like in the um inside the studio, they would try to take your money. Uh, mm -hmm. To the younger generation out there, if you're going to the studio, make sure you keep your your, your material with you. Yes, Don't leave it in the studio mm -hmm. because some reason it can be race, you know. That's right. And that's that's, <laughs> like a, that's a, a game that they play. Um, I can show, I can tell some names out there, you know. I'm gonna show. I'm a. Uh, I'm not. He not right here in front of me, but I tell him in his face. You know, um, it was it's one music. It's one guy, good dude, good dude, but. 
I think when it comes to the musicians, your, your integrity got to be played a part of a lot. Absolutely. Like, Let's talk name. about it. And uh, like I say, it's a good deal, but I, I, I used to go to the studio, right? Um, night fight, Kevin a good dude. He liked that. Um, mm -hmm. It was this guy named Mike Cross working there, right? He used to work there, but he ended up working, doing his own little thing. So I used to go in the studio, right? And when you tell the musician or the engineer to do one thing and they twist and they do something different, you got to go back and redo everything. So mm -hmm. it's, I think to me, it's like more like a game that they, some people play. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I spoke on it at, at times when you leave. You were like, damn, I didn't say you do this. And then switch it around and turn it another way. And then as you get older and wiser, you start seeing how they do it. Um, you're like, damn. So that's how it really that's how it really is. They they try to they try to keep that money, keep your that's life right. in, and you, you yeah. pay all this money. So me right now, I don't pay no money. Uh I wouldn't I'm I, I'm on some different stuff. I had to learn, I have a buddy named Chris Harden, right? That's actually Chucky Thompson, my boy Chucky Thompson boy, right? Mm -hmm. um, he he was really good with the music, and he told me, he told me, Darian, stop spending your money. You can learn your own, you can play your own stuff. And so, when I moved out to Charlotte, North Carolina, and I got away from all, all the, uh, my my homies, I found myself. I uh, had a little money. I, I bought a little. Equipment and I started producing my own little stuff, and that's when I found my style. Because mm -hmm. a lot of artists, some of them, they 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 so busy trying to be somebody else, they don't have their own style. So that's, that's right. hard for them to blow up. It can be that one artist can sound okay, but mm -hmm. they got their own style. Because once mm -hmm. they make that sound, you know, ain't nothing stopping that sound. That's so right. It's kind of hard when you're out there doing the music and you got different uh, musicians trying to well. Producers trying to lock you in in their studio. Get your mm -hmm. stuff where you go. You can take your music anywhere. It's so many. Learn to learn how to work the computer and take your music and track your stuff out. And that's all I wanted to do: track my stuff out. You right. Know, um, and, that's yeah. it. That's it. That's and, and, and you definitely they they definitely need to learn a craft. It's more business than it is being an artist in regards to your craft of music your style um you know you have to know that business you got to be on top of somebody else if you know you gotta you gotta watch your accountant you gotta watch your publicist you gotta watch you know all these different places that are different things that that is just not just being an artist and then what it takes to be a successful a successful artist definitely got to be able to study and show yourself approved um in the music industry it's not for the uh it's not for the week it's not just, you know, sing and, and fly by and, you know, I, I sound good. So I'm going to make it. It's all about a lifestyle. Brother, where can the people find you? Because, um, you know, we could we could talk about this all day in long. The Over to the streets. Street. With uh, uh, Russell and uh, Tamika. Actually, I, I, I mean, I, I'm really, right now, you know what I'm doing. I, meeting you, getting up in the studio, doing some stuff. That's the only way I can say to me. That kind of got me back doing some stuff. Demi Doc, uh, and you, and, and you know, with the band, the crew. That was that was a good experience to, uh, to do what I was doing. You know, it, it brought something out of me. Because if you stop singing, your vocals, you lose your vocals. You got to keep doing what yeah. you do. And I never right. was like in it. Don't bury it. Don't it, bury it. it. Yeah, I was. The more you bury it, the it's going. The harder it is to get back out there, but you don't lose it. It's just going to take you a minute to get it, get to where back where you used to be. So, Darian, mm -hmm. I need you into the stute. Oh, brother, like we got finished the song. I wrote a song for Darian. Darian, okay. I'm okay. putting you out there. I'm putting you on on social media so uh, the people can check in, check on a Darian Turner. Yo, ask him. When your song coming? When your song coming, Daria? When your song coming, Daria? When your song coming, Daria? You heard some stuff that I got. I can put it down. But the thing with that is all about me right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I'm saying is, you put your all into, you know, helping people and doing what you do. 
you know, it's all about me right now. That's too. right. That's self care. I'm that, I'm that. I don't want to tell somebody, yeah, I'm gonna do it, and I don't do it because I know yeah. we talked about it. But we go through these. We go. I'm a strong brother, but I go through yes, stuff, and I have to bounce back, and I gotta figure stuff out. So yeah. when I go on that ghost move, and I just sit down, and, and and I can sit in my car, I can be at Starbucks, I can be in the middle, nowhere, and just trying to figure out my next move because the it seems like the world is dropped on your head, and you gotta be strong enough, you know, to survive, you know, and, and bounce back. So. With that being said, as far as, you know, getting back in the studio, I, I love the studio. The studio, music always been me, you know what I'm saying? But as far as these kids, I, I feel more, I kind of get a little depressed on what they're going through, going yeah. through with this with this uh, this school thing. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they're at the age right now, my son at the age right now, that, you know, he need me and I don't want to smother him like he a baby. He, he a big boy, but... He needs me. I want him to uh, experience, uh, be better than me. That's you know? right. But this it's, school, it, it, this this computer stuff. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's it's, it's that's a whole nother conversation, brother. I'm so yeah. glad I homeschool mine. So next Tuesday is their last day of school, and we're gonna get it in, and we're gonna have a nice summer. Because <laughs> I can't. I'm yeah. done. I'm yeah. tapped out today with my daughters. She graduated 2020. One, Amazing. I did have a 2020, but a 2021 cherish. She is done for the year. Today was her last day. So next week is the kid's last day, man. I, I'm praying for you. You know, I'm always praying for you and your family, man. You do such a great job as a father, as a husband, as a brother, as an artist. I'm just keeping you in my prayers. Just keep doing your thing, man, Darian. We're going to get together. We're going to make it happen. And, um... You know, I just appreciate you so much for taking a moment out of your time to be on the show. And um, much love to you, brother. Really, really appreciate you. Okay, I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> you, too. I, I, I'm glad you invited me to the show. You know, Absolutely. You know, it was kind of stressful trying to get online. You know, I got my, <laughs> I got my computer. My son tapped into my computer and switched everything up. You know, I had to figure that out. So, you know, um, okay, well, you know, uh, See you soon. I'll and tell your husband I say what's up. I sure what's will. Up? I'll sure yeah. will. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Okay. Peace <laughs> out. What y'all have it, man? That is the end of the show. We did it. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Y'all turn up. Y'all be safe. I will see y'all back next Friday, 7 p.m. It's the stars with Tamika Joy. Y'all be blessed. Good night.